The last thing we want to look at is how to apply histograms with masks. So here I have the histogram with mask.py file pulled up. I have matplotlib imported for plotting, numpy for numerical array processing, and cv2 for our OpenCV bindings. As a convenience function, let's define this plot histogram method. It's going to accept an input image, a title for the plot, and optionally a mask. So we're going to create this flattened color histogram representation that I was showing you earlier, which looks like this. And we're going to do that for a masked specific region of the input image. So this color histograms here, they were computed over the entirety of this image. What if we instead just wanted to compute like a color histogram for this region or this region or this region up here? Well, that's what this code is going to accomplish. So we start by splitting our image into each of its respective channels and create a new figure and along the X axis, we'll have our bins and along the Y label, we'll have the number of pixels that are added to a specific bin. We then loop over the channels and then create a histogram for the current channel. The code here is identical to our previous examples, except now we've added in this mask. So if we supplied a mask, we're only gonna compute a color histogram for that masked region. So let's load our beach image from disk and we'll plot a color histogram for the original input image and we'll display that to our screen. Now, let's create a mask. A mask, as you know, is a binary image with background pixels set to black and foreground pixels set to white. So for any pixel input in this mask region that has a white foreground, that means we want to include those pixels in our color histogram computation. If it has a black, meaning background, we don't want to include those pixels in the color histogram. So what we do here is create this rectangular mask, which we display to our screen, and then we apply that mask when computing the color histogram, meaning only pixels that are included in that mask get added to the histogram itself. So when you run this script, and I'm gonna show you all this output together, what you end up doing is you start off with this flattened color histogram for the entire RGB image, and the histogram looks like this. And we say, instead, let's define this mask, this rectangular mask down here, which when visualized, you can see it's just kind of part of the ocean. It's kind of like this bottom left corner over here. So let's plot a histogram for just that region. And when you do that, you're gonna get wildly different histograms. So here is the color histogram for the original input image, which you see right here. And then here's the histogram for the masked region, which is this area. And if you note, there is a tremendous number of very bright blue pixels in this region. And that makes total sense because we're looking at a blue region of the image. It's the ocean over here. That's why there are so many blue pixels in this output histogram. And again, really convince yourself that these histograms are entirely different. This histogram resulted by computing the, the RGB histograms for this entire image. Every single pixel in the input image was included in the computation. This one, on the other hand, only came from this specific masked region. So again, if you're building this fashion search engine that I was telling you about, you would want to segment the clothing from the image first and then compute the color histogram for just the clothing itself. You don't care about the background. You don't care about the skin color. You don't care about the hair color or anything else. You just want the clothing itself included in the computation. So I hope that serves as a really good introduction to histograms for you. Get some practice applying them. Again, you'll see histograms just substantially throughout computer vision and image processing. So gain that experience now. It'll help you out tremendously later on. I'll see you later.